All right, so I think we're ready to get started designing our profile page here. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward. We have a little uh, picture for the user here uh, with a name and email here, an edit button here, and then we have a little map uh, widget of their address. Uh, we have payment, support, and then logout. So let's get started on designing this page here. So in the profile uh, page here, I'm going to go ahead and first thing, uh, make this edit button a little bit smaller. Let's do a font size of 20 uh, and change the font weight to uh, medium here. Or let's do semi-bold. That looks better. So let's go ahead and first add our oval here for the profile picture. And we can do... 100 by 100 for the size and let's just keep a spacing of 25 pixels from the left and let's go ahead and add a text for first and last for their name and just go ahead and drag a copy using alt and then do email at domain.com and let's go ahead and just move these down and I think that looks good. Let's just resize this one to maybe 18 and the name here to 22. To add a profile photo here, I'm gonna actually go up to my uh, plugins here, uh, do manage plugins. Let's go ahead and browse all plugins here. And I'm gonna use uh, this one right here called avatars. Uh, if you can't find it, just go ahead and search avatars and then uh, install this one right here. Once it's installed, uh, we can go back to our project and then uh, with your uh, circle uh, or ellipse selected, go to plugins and then do avatars. Cool. So I think that looks good. Uh, moving on, we have our map option. So why don't we just go ahead and use alt uh, on this rectangle with map already in there and bring it over here. So we'll just resize it until we get a spacing of 25 on both sides that looks good now let's go ahead and resize the height to 100 give it a border radius of 20 and let's just move it down a little bit and then let's move this or copy this icon over to just put it in the middle here just slightly above middle let's group these together we want to also add the uh, address here. So why don't we go ahead and duplicate uh, this pin here and then maybe make it, uh, of course, constraint and then do, uh, let's try 20, let's try 18 in terms of the width. I'm just gonna zoom in here and let's do a left align here, do a text, one, two, three, four, address, lane just as a placeholder and let's go ahead and do a font size of 18 move this up here i think that looks good just going to move it down a little bit and then i think we just need payment support and logout here so let's create another rectangle here and just do 325 by 55 and maybe do a corner radius of 10 here bring it up a little bit maybe a little bit lower than that and let's do a text and then let's do payment align that here so let's first change the fill to primary change the fill of the text to white and then go ahead and duplicate another one here make that larger and left align right align and let's do uh, I'm using Alt or Option and then doing the 8 key to insert these uh, little circles. And let's do 1, 2, 3, 4. And that kind of represents the credit card or the payments option. I think we can even make this a little bit bigger. Like let's do 65 um, here. And then center these along. There we go. Let's go ahead and group them together using Command G. And let's go ahead and name it Payment button. Let's duplicate it. Then we have support, so let's do support. 
let's delete the text here and let's go back to our login page here copy this go back here and paste that in so pasted it up here but i want to just go ahead and just drag that in here instead let's go ahead and resize that to 22 or actually let's do 28 and then vertical line and what do we have here we have like 20 right yeah let's do uh move it around until it's here now let's go ahead and make a last button copy here as well um, so let's go ahead and first make sure that's part of this group here and then rename that group to support button and then let's do log out and let's just create a little arrow icon here and right now you can barely see it uh, it's really small so let's go ahead and make the thickness three that looks good here let's change the stroke color to white so i've just zoomed in here but uh, as you can see uh, this edge is uh, kind of harsh whereas uh, over here we have a round kind of nice uh, edges or uh, or corners so we're going to go ahead and just double click into this line here for the arrow so this step is important go ahead and select this point right here uh, so we can apply changes to just this point then go to the three dots over here and then do a cap of round cool so that has a rounded uh cap as well over there you can do this to any lines well, let's just zoom out and just escape to return out of there let's just make sure that this is actually centered here it looks like now it's centered and let's just go ahead and move the arrow inside the last button here change the name to log out button and I think let me just see how my spacing is I can move it to a couple pixels right and that's a line now I think that will work uh, one thing we can do here we can go to our log out button and change the primary color to uh, the orange here just to kind of signify that this is a log out option feel free to play around with that and see what looks good but I think looking at my sketch here, we've gotten pretty close to what we want for our design. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom completely out to see where we are. Yeah, I think that looks good.